Jason Austin Wilson here with another AE tutorial. Today I'm going to show you guys a neat little feature inside of After Effects where you can time the scale of an object to the beat of your music and create an effect that's really great for music videos. Um, as you can see here in this demonstration, the clouds, the scale of the clouds change according to the beat of the music. It's a very easy effect to create inside of After Effects. So, first thing we're going to do is open up After Effects and create a new composition. So you're going to go to Composition, New Composition. Once your composition opens up, give it a name, we'll call it Music Vid. Then you're going to change your width, height, and frame rate values to match your source footage. So whatever you're shooting with, find out what your source frame rate and size is and make sure that this is the same, so when you import it, you don't have to rescale or resize your composition. Then you're going to click OK. Once you have your composition set up, you're going to right click inside your project window, import file, and we're going to import an audio file of your choosing. Then you're going to open that audio file, and you're going to drop and drag it into your timeline. Next thing we're going to do is we are going to right click on your audio layer. You're going to go to Keyframe Assistant, Convert Audio to Keyframes. And this might take a moment, depending on how fast your computer is. What's going to happen is that After Effects is going to create a null object, which is essentially an invisible object. Now, inside this visible object layer, this audio amplitude layer, you're going to see, when you drop down your effects, left channel, right channel, and both channels. Now, what has happened, After Effects has created values or keyframe values based on the waveform of your audio file. So when you drag this you can see that our audio levels change according to the waveform of our audio file. Next thing we want to do is create an object. Now you don't have to create an object inside of After Effects. You can import an object or an image from Photoshop or Illustrator. When you create a shape layer inside of After Effects you want to make sure that neither of your layers in your timeline are highlighted. If they are highlighted when you click the shape layer, it's going to want to make a mask. So you don't want to make a mask, you want to make an actual object. So you want to make sure that none of these layers are highlighted, then click on your shape layer. You can change the color and the stroke color of your object in these two windows. So I'm going to change this to blue. So we'll go with blue, then you're going to create your shape layer. Once you have your shape layer, so I created the star shape layer, but you're not limited to the shapes inside of After Effects. You can actually take your pen tool and you can create a custom shape by drawing it right in your window, right inside of After Effects. We're not going to use this actual shape layer, but as you can see, it's pretty easy to create a custom shape layer using the pen tool. So for this demonstration, we are just going to use the star shape inside of After Effects. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to drop down our transform menu. We're going to change the scale to match the beat of the music. Now how we're going to do that is, is we're going to create an expression. To create an expression, you want to option click on the stopwatch next to the scale. Then you want to take your pick whip, which is this little swirly thing here, and you want to drop and drag it onto one of these channels here. Now you actually have to drop it onto the slider channel and not onto the label of the channel. So we're going to take our pick whip, we're going to click and drag hold, while holding down onto your slider, and then click anywhere in your timeline. What this is going to do is it's going to change the scale according to these keyframe values that are based off of your audio file. So when we scroll back and forth we can see that the scale of our object changes pretty quickly. So in order to play this back in real time, we have to RAM preview it. In order to RAM preview in After Effects, you want to press the zero key on your keyboard. Now this also may take a few minutes depending on how powerful and how much RAM your computer has. So as you can see, that was a quick demonstration of the star moving to the beat of the music. Now you can attach 
the position and make the position move around, or you can change the rotation, or you can change the opacity of the object as well. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to duplicate this layer. Let's say we want to change the opacity. So let's duplicate this layer. And let's drop down our transform. And let's change our opacity. So we're going to option click, bring up our expressions. And we're going to drag our pick whip to our slider and our audio amplitude layer. Click anywhere in your timeline. Now we have a compound effect of the scale and the opacity of your object changing, which is really nice because it creates that sort of flashing light look. So if you've noticed, when you create the expression, our object layer has gotten considerably smaller. In order to correct that problem, we want to enable the 3D layer option on our layer, which is this little square box here. So we're going to click that, enable our 3D layer. Then we're going to change the position value of our Z value, which is X, Y, Z on our position. And we're going to change that to go forward or back through Z space, which is going to change the size of our object. Then, you know, it's, it's going to change the position as well. So you can position this guy wherever you want by clicking and dragging your object around. So let's do the same thing with our first shape layer. And click, enable our 3D layer. Then we're going to change our Z value. You can either do it here in the drop-down menu, or you can actually click and drag the Z value slider in your window back and forth. Okay. So we have that changed. Also, too, if you want to compound the effects of all these different things and make multiples, it's very easy to duplicate these layers. So if you highlight the layer and go to press Command D, it will duplicate the layer, and then you can put these layers wherever you want and then change the different sizes. I'm going to make a few different layers just to kind of add to the effect. So let's RAM preview this and see what we got. Perfect. So that's our effect. I'm sorry we can't preview more of the effect, but you can drag your slider around and see the effect all the way through. This little trick is great for background images if you're using a green screen. This has been another AE tutorial by Austin Wilson. I hope you enjoy.